Okay, for, so for today's episode, I thought I'd do something different and focus on a different aspect of what I do. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't start video recording this until I was on the color stage. Um, at some point, I will, I will screenshot an entire process of developing a comic. But uh, I forgot to till I was starting to do the color. And um, so unfortunately... We've got to pick up there. But uh, there's a lot of cool things to look at with color, too. So um, this is, of course, really sped up. And uh, as you can see, what I'm doing right now is flatting, something called flatting a comic, um, which is basically separating out all the colors. Kind of, It makes it easier to mess with things later and change things. Yeah, it's just a good way to get kind of like the basic color. Um, the way you want and I actually do a lot of uh, you know I'll choose a random color and then I will use the adjust hue saturation uh, tool which I think is command U or option U I forget uh, which one it is and uh, I just mess around the color until I get something I like and uh, I'm actually able to like pick a, a weirder range of colors on everything um, than I normally would uh, it just kind of it's so easy to use that you can like explore color combinations that you probably wouldn't originally think of unless you messed around with things another thing to keep in mind is that this is Photoshop so you can really put things on different layers and you know like if you think you're gonna need to change things later or mess around with color you know like you can just put everything you put you know, like a lot of times I'll put the background on a different layer and the inks on a different layer and the foreground elements on a different layer and the main character on a different layer. And then uh, you can just go through and, and kind of mess with stuff. One of the newer things I like to do is I'll add a little kind of very slight gradient. Uh, in this uh, issue I'm uh, of uh, Love Verts, I'm adding kind of like a slight uh, radial gradient to everything to just kind of I don't know add a little more variance and kind of like show you where to focus so you can see it right there yeah and now I start to get into the de details kind of separating out more things uh, a lot of just selecting areas and then changing the color on those areas and I have the inks on a different level so uh, it, it doesn't what I'm doing to the color doesn't affect the inks at all. Uh, in fact, right here is a neat little trick I picked up. Um, I forget who showed me this, but here it is. Cool trick. So this little locking checkerboard, you click that, and then on your ink layer, if there's nothing else there, uh, you know, if it's just ink by itself, uh, you can it, what it does is locks out everything but where you already have stuff made and um, and then you can just kind of paint over the inks and change you know what the inks look like and so what I do a lot of the times is I'll get rid of almost all of the black ink and uh, use uh, color lines to kind of uh, I don't know, it really, I find it really opens up the comic and makes it, lets things breathe a lot, you know, like, uh, sometimes black ink makes things too busy, uh, but having, uh, the ink be different colors, uh, you know, it allows some things to send it, like, fade into the background, some details, uh, and then some details to really stick out, uh, you know, like, you can really choose what's important and stuff like that. And I, I don't know, I think it, it's kind of a very classy um, classy way to go in comics. It's an extra little step, but uh, since I tend to like flat colors, uh, usually coloring goes pretty quickly. And uh, adding this extra step, I think it adds, you know, it just kind of lets the, the drawing breathe a lot more. And uh, as you can see, I'm messing around with stuff. See, I, I'm going through and I'm changing all the 
all the colors. Usually I choose a color that's near what the object is colored. And then I, I kind of, you know, uh, make it a little darker. And, um, yeah, another thing I like to do is keep, uh, <clears throat> you know, if a character isn't important, they can just be a blob of color, like if I'm doing a crowd scene, you know, they can, the whole crowd scene can be one color, and, uh, uh, I don't know, something about keeping it simple is a, uh, you know, a direction I like to take with this stuff. Yeah, and this was a comic I actually colored on, uh, it was Valentine's Day, and uh, I had inked this a long time ago, maybe like four or five months ago, and I just never colored it in, and I was like, oh, Valentine's Day, I should finish a Valentine's Day comic, so uh, this one character, Love Burt's, uh, all of his comics end pretty tragically, <laughs> and uh, uh, so I apologize if... Uh, you don't like tragic comics. I, I, I love tragic comics. I don't know. Uh, but here's the finished comic, and you can see, you know, like there's... I don't know. I think the gradients... At the moment, my opinion is slight gradients are nice. And, uh, you know, I love... Even though this is a depressing comic, I love bright colors. And, uh, I don't know. I just really want something that kind of... <coughs> kind of... <coughs> catches the eye and uh that's it love birds thanks for joining me on this color exhibition good day